waiting for you for a very long time. Your life must not be very important to you coming here this way. No matter, you will have an eternity to mourn the mistakes you have made. Now that you're here, you can never leave. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Spirit Sneak Peek video. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new Spirit Halloween Sneak Peek on the Skullcrane Entertainment YouTube channel for the Six Foot Wailing Phantom from Seasonal Visions International. Now, before I begin the video, I want to address an error in the title. This is a 7 foot animatronic, not 6 feet, so just keep that in mind um, if you're interested in purchasing. Um, hopefully they get that error corrected soon so buyers are not misinformed, um, especially because they are asking a very pretty penny for a six foot animatronic although he is seven feet and this diagram does prove that he is seven feet tall um but with that being said let's talk about the willing phantom so we first saw this guy actually back in january and we all sort of speculated that he would be at spirit and we thought correctly usually the stuff at the expo actually does show up at spirit halloween as online onlys. However, they come at a huge markup. For the reason for this is because these aren't Spirit Halloween animatronics. These are Morbid Enterprises animatronics. So essentially how it works is Seasonal Visions International manufactures the prop and instead of going directly to Spirit Halloween, they go to Morbid Enterprises. Morbid Enterprises then charges a huge markup there and then they charge their huge markup to Spirit Halloween, who also charges a huge markup, hence the price of $349.99. Now, if Spirit Halloween got this directly, I'm sure he would have been at least $100 less. But because it was purchased through Morbid Enterprises, it is a ridiculous amount of money for this prop. So that's the problem with having two different retailers acquire the same prop. But again, this is a Morbid uh, Enterprises prop that was ordered from Morbid to, or from Seasonal Visions to Morbid, the wholesaler, and then Spirit Halloween purchased them. Now, I could check my Morbid account to see how much they actually cost, but I know it's nowhere near $350. It's about $200 a piece, so they're trying to make a little money. And that's fine because they've done this in the past where they've ordered uh, Morbid Enterprises props. Although I'm kind of surprised they do it considering how much money they have to charge and if it's actually profitable for them. But Spirit Halloween has a lot of money to really play around with. And I'm assuming they just ordered a couple hundred of these to sell um, at the 350 price tag. Which in my opinion is a huge stretch. For a 7 foot animatronic, that's ridiculous. We saw the Little Daisy and the Maestro for 300 which is ridiculous. We saw... The clowning around for 300 again, ridiculous. I think this idea that 7 feet foot props are all of a sudden now worth $300 and up is ridiculous. A 7 foot prop should be worth no more than $250. And that's for a good one with a lot of movement. For the exception of licensed characters, a 7 foot prop should be no more than $250. We've seen the Home Depot continuously compete at the seven foot animatronic range even my own web store um you can purchase seven foot animatronics for well less than the 350 price tag that spirit wants for this animatronic so i i haven't even talked about the animatronic yet but i just wanted to make it clear that 350 dollars for a seven foot animatronic that is not licensed is a really big stretch, especially when there is an oversized shipping charge in which the shipping will bring his total to nearly $400, although you can use a coupon to help save some money, but nonetheless, still a ridiculous amount of money. But let's dive into the animatronic. For starters, he's online only. We will not see him in stores. It is very, very rare we will see a Morbid Enterprises prop in the store, simply because they're just too expensive for Spirit Halloween to order. 
the over three to 4,000 pieces they need, and they typically order about 10,000 of each, if not more, to fill the stores and fill their online inventory. Um, but this will be online only, but it will be sold at other retailers, so it is not a Spirit Halloween exclusive. It'll be sold that even if I wanted to, I could get it for my store, but um, the cost per unit is just too expensive to really make a profit. And the character himself by Seasonal Visions is very cool. I like this a lot, and I prefer him over the Peekaboo Clown with the digit eyes. I think they did a great job with the digit eyes here. They actually move um, side to side, and some people have been saying it's it's actually a, like a lack. Um, how do I describe it? It's sort of lackluster compared to actual, like for example, Jemmy Industries moving eyes. And surprisingly, Jemmy Industries is one of the only companies that actually manufactures moving eye animatronics, or at least used to before they went to their decline and have basically turned to inflatables and lighted accessories, but I digress. So the 7-foot Wailing Phantom features those really cool digit eyes, which I actually really like, although I dislike greatly how when they're off, you can't see anything. With the Peekaboo Clown, at least they didn't have to always be on, but with this guy, the second you turn him off... He just looks super strange having no eyes. I feel like they should have had maybe a layer over it or something to allow for the eyes to be seen. But the way he is now is just not perfect. The lantern is the same as in the next sneak peek I will do for the gatekeeper re-release. But the lantern is cool and his posture is cool. I like this character a lot. He is very, very sinister the way he bends over like this, very similar to the Towering Chain Ghost in terms of style. He would go great with him, although I just cannot get over that price tag. But the mouth movement is very cool. He turns from side to side, and that's about it. Overall, I would not put him in my top five necessarily, uh, considering that he's not an exclusive, he's overpriced, and he, he really doesn't introduce anything other than the digitize. Again, a cool animatronic, and he will fit some people's themes, but I don't foresee him being a good seller specifically at Spirit Halloween this year, simply because he's not exclusive and he's overpriced. But let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and read the description before I close out the video. The Wailing Phantom was just your typical late-night graveyard security up until his cold, tragic death over a decade ago. Ever since, the Wailing Phantom returns every Halloween to keep watch over the undead and protect the cemetery from any unwanted intruders. You may not notice him at first, but you'll know he's coming once you hear his wailing screams and terrifying groans in the distance. This Wailing Phantom animatronic will have no problems protecting your Halloween display with his light-up eyes and lantern along with his creepy side-to-side movement. Um, he has the same Spear Halloween features that all animatronics feature. Basically, all the typical stuff. He weighs pretty much a lot compared to other animatronics. 20 pounds. Uh, most are about 12, so that's interesting there. But he's online only. $350. 7-foot willing animatronic. Overall, not the coolest. But for the right haunter who has the money to shell out on one animatronic, It'll work great for your theme. With that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy haunting.